Hello all, welcome back to our YouTube channel German Talks. Today we are going to do a chapter number 8 of Arbeit's book. We read course book and we saw there's uh, the grammar activities. Now, chapter number 8, Arbeit's book, Frage Nummer 1 A. For this, was pass zusammen, what fits together, we need to order it. For this, I already gave you the vocabulary in our course book. So, I hope you can do this by yourself. It's very easy exercise. You just need to, according to the picture, you just need to do it. In this also, you just need to write according to the articles. For example, which from here, from here, which words comes under there. Which words comes under das and which comes under the? You just need to write it here. If you don't know the articles, you can take the help of dick.cc dictionary. You can download it. Okay. Now, Fragnuma Eins say. We heisen die Zimmer, noteren sie die Wörter, welche Zimmer fit. Here it's written, which uh, which room is missing. We need to write that one. Okay. So, number 1. We can see here, wash basin and all. So, we did this also in our course book. So, what can be the word for this one? Das Bad. Number 2. We can see here bad and all. So, das Schlafzimmer. Okay, and also I told you the verb for this in a in a when we do, when we are doing a course book uh, lecture. There also I told you the verb for this one. It's schlafen. Schlafen, okay. Schlafen means to to sleep. Okay, like this way only you need to learn all your vocabularies, so that in this way you are also doing your verb and you are also doing your noun. Okay, right now you are not, uh, you will not found this much too much important. But when you will go in your B one level, then for example, if you want to start with your sentence with this noun so or if you only know the verb but you don't know the noun and if you want to start with the noun then verb and then other sentence so you should know the noun of that verb that's why it is very important to learn okay and like when when we will start with our a2 i'm also going to tell you there that you can also advance this a vocabulary for example first you can do by verb then noun then also adjective there are some adjectives related to that you can also do by that that we are going to do in a e2 number try here so we can see again it's a bad and all here we can see the toys and all so the answer can be das Kinderzimmer. Okay, again, Kinder means children and Zimmer. Zimmer means room. Again, important word for your Goethe A1 exam related to your expression. Fear. Okay. So, number fear, we can see here uh, sofa and all, TV. So we can say Das Wohnzimmer. Okay, again we, we know the verb for this one. This one it's wonen. We are doing this word from a uh, from a chapter one. Wonen. Wonen means to live. Number fünf. Okay. We can see here it's a chair. Then there's a keyboard. Monitor. 
and some files there is no sofa nothing so it can be arbite zima thus arbite zima again verb i think you all know the verb for this one arbite zima this is noun i want verb for this verb so it can be again we are doing it from chapter number 1 arbiten to work so here they are telling which room is missing so according to you which room is missing now we talked here about bathroom then schlafzimmer kinderzimmer wohnzimmer living room arbeitzimmer working room and which room is missing where we cook food and all so the future see these are some of the vocabularies which is very important for your expression um what i am right now doing is like i am planning to do first our even series and then after that proofing training which is of even again which is very important because there are four model test in that and related to that only your goethe exam pattern will be there even it's all depends on you all if you want this part do you want it or you don't want it if you don't want it then please let me know in the comments so that i can start directly with a2 okay or also we can do one thing like parallelly with this a1 we can start our proofing training or a2 and you just need to let me know in the comments so zwei a lesen again i told you many times this type of activities is very important for your goethe related to lesen because in lesen time is very limited your reading speed should be good and while you are reading you should also able to understand what is written and what is they are asking in the question because you cannot read this sentence for example if this part is there in your exam you cannot read this for example you will think i i can read this two times or three times and then i can check the exam it will not going to happen like this not only in even exam in every level you need to read it one time only and according to that only you need to mark your answers because the time is very limited there that's why it is very important to do these type of activities so lesen sie die kommentare im chat unter schritzen sie die orte in der wohnung sind die personen gern ort warum oder warum nicht und notieren sie now we need to read the comments in the chat this one okay and we need to cross the place of the ort what are the places are there in the apartment and zin the person and gain dot and are the persons like to uh, there or not warum oder warum nicht and we need to note it down for example nummer 1 seit heute ist mein balkon mein lieblings ort first of all this lieblings this libling is very very important word for your expression means favorite okay this means is favorite but you can use this libling in your expression in many different ways after this libling you can add according to your need libling's essen libling's music and so on okay that's why there are some tips and tricks for expression in your goethe even exam which i am going to tell you when we when we will do this exam prep books but right now i am telling you you can just note down all this important vocabularies 
okay so seit heute seit means since Seit heute ist mein Balkon mein Lieblingsort. See, when we say na, since today. Okay, so that's why here this thing complete is in first position. You can ask here the question that after second place we always write verb. But here we are using it in a third place. Okay, but some of the sentences Uh, some of the uh, words we count as together and we will put always that in first position again this is a topic of b1 but still i am telling you if you if the doubt come in your mind that why it is not in the second place this is helping verb because this is verb and this right now we can see like you will see that it is a third place but when you will do this topic in your uh, b1 level then you will see okay it is in second place only Okay. So since today is my balcony, balcony, my leavings or my balcony is my favorite place. Okay. That summer is the there is summer. Ish haber ein Tisch. Again. Here also there is one question I will ask. Einen. And einen. See here. Ich habe einen Tisch und einen Stuhl. Again and again, I'm we are revising topics which we did. Again, what is verb verb here? Habe. It's a verb. Okay. Okay. we will just see this sentence till here okay what is subject in this sentence subject is ish it's a subject okay ish do er as z we are er z these all are the subjects verb here which type of verb it is is it a modal verb see again it's a modal verb or it's a main verb or it's a helping verb again modal verb we did pionen sionen and so on okay main verbs are like what are main verbs like gehen kommen essen and so on these are main verbs and helping verb i told you there are two helping verbs in pre previous lecture only we discussed sein and haben these are two helping verbs again for sein and haben also i told you one thing that sein takes nominative haben takes accusative okay so now i will ask you one question here why here it is einen here also it is einen so first we will see verb again we need two things in a in a table we see always two things accusative dative or nominative where it is and then gender so one thing we cleared with our verb that it is in accusative okay then tish now we need an article for tish so tish takes masculine stool takes masculine so if you will check in your accusative here we just put en Yes, in in best tense article also we put then, and in un best tense also we put i n. We just put e n e n. Yes, so accusative of masculine, e n. So that's why here it is, e n. Here also it is e n. One more trick I told you about for checking for accusative that is what question. We can ask what question. For example, I have a tish, or I ish have a. i n stool i have a stool so what i have i will ask myself what question what i have the answer will come i n tish or a stool so if i will say a stool so this is the answer it is coming so it is a direct object okay so if it is a direct object 
then it is comes into accusative for dative we haven't it okay many times i got the comments that how we can check for dative dative we haven't did right now we need to move for the step by step there are dative topic also we will do that one but first you need to understand this table for accusative if here only we will in just one day only we will just see nominative accusative dative then it's all becomes too much confusion will be created okay so this is just about accusative we just did a revision okay so i ich habe einen tisch und einen stuhl und setze dort das den ganzen tag now ganzen means again complete the end i sit there complete day lese again read und höre music and i hear music das ist wie urlaub cool that is as vacation urlaub means vacation and that is cool so does he have a lieblings or does he have a lieblings place they, they said here already yeah that's why it is cross and then what is the lieblings ort here that is urlaub they discuss then sitzen lesen musik und hören so you can also say here lieblings ort is balkon so nummer 2 also mein arbeitszimmer mag ich im moment nicht now what does this means also mein arbeitszimmer mag ich im moment nicht also in this moment i don't like my i don't like my working room okay again i have one question for you there, there is mark it is written here mark okay you need to give me here its original form right now it is in conjugated form you need to give me its original form okay without conjugated form okay you can find this answer in our modal verb video or if you have made the table for modal verb of all modal verbs there you can find this and you need to tell me in the comments ich muss viel arbeiten und kann nie richtig and spannen again and spannen means to relax now here ich muss viel arbeiten again there is one grammar topics which is there here muss and arbeiten okay and here we put as subject ish this one till here ish must feel about i mean i must work too much here we can see again our modal verb this is the sentence structure of modal verb plus main verb yes again modal verb in second position in conjugated form and main verb is in original form and we can see here mus here second place conjugated form and arbeiten it's its original form main verb und and and i cannot und ich kann nie richtig and spannen immer sehe ich mein arbeitszimmer und weiß die arbeit wartet again wartet comes from warten means to wait so always i see my working room and i know that my work is still there okay like it's still pending so here does he likes his lieblings ort right now they told the lieblings ort is arbeits zimmer like here they told about bal balcony and he likes the balcony but here they say right now in this moment he do he does not like okay nicht so we will say for here nein okay and what are the things they discussed here for example here must feel arbeiten yes
and here carne rustish and spine cannot correctly relaxed because there are, there are too much work numadrai see uh, if you are watching this video when i discuss this thing for example this thing i am discussing you can what, what you can do you can just pause the video if you have not done this thing uh, you can just pause the video and you can first read this part and you just underline it that okay these are the vocabularies you already know and how much you already know then you can start the video and then you can compare it okay am wochenende bin ich abends im club again in weekends i am in the evenings in the club und dann schlafe ich lang and then i sleep long i think here there is all vocabularies are easy okay here wochen and day again week ends schlafen again comes from uh, schlafen means to sleep lang means long also is mein schlafzimmer auch mein lieblings ort here it is a important line also my sleeping room is my favorite place dot lese ich zeitung und trinke kaffee wichtig is nur keine stress so here yeah, i read there zeitung means news and drink coffee yeah and and important is only no stress okay i think it's easy so libling sort is there any libling sort yes and the libling sort is schlafzimmer so we can write here schlaf zimmer okay and what are the other informations kind stress Okay, and then here, here, lese Zeitung, trinke, Kaffee. Und trinke. Okay, because here they wrote here, warum oder warum nicht? Like why they like their favorite place, and if they not, why not? Fear. Mein Kinder Zimmer pass nicht mehr zu. Mia. Okay, I think this lines you know. My kinder zimmer, my child room or my children room, fits no more to me. Ich bin jetzt sechzehn Jahre und mein Zimmer ist dort vor ein Kind. So I am now sixteen years old. Ich bin jetzt means now. Now I am sixteen years old and. Mein Zimmer ist noch für ein Kind, and my room is still for a child. Again, you will see here. Now we will discuss again a topic, grammar thing. Again, on second place, verb, helping verb. Here it is a possessive pronoun, my. Okay. Here, this is a preposition, and here this is a noun. Now, I want to ask you one question: How we will decide that how this I will come here? I told you. that there are two helping verbs haben and sein so here it is verb sein which is a conjugated form it is ist and this comes in nominative okay so is this ein because of this thing if you are saying yes then answer is no because i told you 
many times in this chapter number 7 and 8 whenever there is a preposition in sentence we don't give importance to verb we always give importance to preposition and here it is a uh, preposition for which takes accusative and i previous lecture also i told you you need to make the list of preposition and you need to stick it on your study table so that whenever you do this prepositions it will all always remind you because there are preposition take accusative dative and vexel this topic we already did now if your text accusative so one thing is clear that it is accusative now you only need the article of this and then you need to check by yourself that that is this ein ein is coming or not okay it is it is your task now i here you just need to see for your okay the assist painlish painlish means we can say embarrassing also and we can say awkward also and this is adjective okay one more thing here we need to you can note down here if there is verb if there is adjective and if there is a noun this verb we always write in small adjective small and noun in capital okay why these things are important because if you will do this type of mistakes in your goithe a1 the examiner will cut your marks okay and it is not difficult things but you need to know all these basic things for example we will see here okay here it is mine freund you can see here f is in capital one example for this any verb here there are many verbs here this 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 okay these all are in small okay and we we saw right now adjective this finally in adjective again it is in a small letter so according to you can make note here and you can note it down okay so my friend again we wait we will see here there is one more grammar topic here so meine freunde lade ich nicht ein uh when whenever i always uh recall the what whatever the old topics which we did in our previous chapter do you like it or not like when we do the revision just let me know in the comments okay if not then i will not explain whatever the topics we did in our past i will just simply move forward okay so meine freunde lade ich nicht ein again very simple question for you what is verb in this sentence verb if somebody is saying lade then this answer is wrong okay now why wrong because you will see here this is the topic of train bar verb train bar verb okay it's conjugated according to ish that's why i e is here and this is like this ein laden and in train bar verb video also i explain you this part will go at the end of the sentence and this part will be conjugated according to subject and this part will go at the end so this part according to the ish and lader and then this ein goes at the end of the sentence and that's what they wrote here see this 
if this type of sentence structure if you will write in your goit exam then in your shraiban you will get good marks okay ein kaufen ein laden there are very you can just memorize five to six uh train bar verb again this all things i will going to explain in your in the proofings training book when you will do our exam prep books just right now i'm telling you you can note down this important words that if you will do this type of sentence structure in your goit even exam you will get good marks in your shraiban and it is not even hard to write yes you just need to uh, learn the train bar verb and you just need to conjugate it according to the subject meine freunde lade ich nicht ein so i uh, my friend i don't invite or we go in the garden so is there any favorite place nein and past nicht mehr because he wrote here that his room looks like a kinder zimmer now and it does not likes like past nicht mehr so past nicht mehr and he also said here pine list is pine list okay here you can write awkward or embarrassing okay again this this pine list also you can use in your expression so again try a we has das gegenteil okay gegenteil means opposite noter in sie das passende wird there are some uh, adjectives given you just need to write the opposite of that okay for example nummer 1 die wohnung ist nicht teuer sie ist die wohnung ist nicht toyer again i told you that adjective is right in small okay adjective then this is noun in capital okay subject uh, verb in small the knowing of sentence structure is very important if you know the sentence structure it's it it helps you in, when you doing the lesson part the wohnung is nicht teuer the apartment is not costly z is it is if it is not costly the wohnung is nicht teuer it is not teuer z is billig number z why the room is not small it is it is if it is not small then it is big gross drei im garten ist es nicht leise in the garden it is not quiet as is again we see the opposite of this as is loud loud fear the kuche is nicht dunkel the kitchen is not dark z is hell bright okay and dunkel means dark und das haus liegt nicht weit weg es liegt the house lies not far it lies like when it is not far then it is in central in the center again all these adjectives are very important for your expression shraiban and also you will find this all uh, adjectives in your lesson part and in your huron part and according to me this all adjectives are enough for your a1 level okay and you can also include this spinelish now as we are discussing many things about the uh, goit exam 
this is the this is the expression this is the schreiben part this is the schreiben of goethe a1 tai zwei schreiben goethe a1 tai zwei for tile ions i already made video <clears throat> when we are doing a book in that only i explain you tile 1 this is tile zwei which is very easy in your exam also you will get <clears throat> five options like this you will get one text and text is also related like this only according to apartment or something like that that only phone number knock number and all okay in your exam not here but in your exam this fifth one will be little bit tricky just this fifth last one sometimes okay and sometimes it is very easy only this fifth part this fourth from ions with sphere you can do it very easily sometimes this fifth fifth part will be little bit tricky you just need to read it nicely so this is you can write here that it is a schreiben activity of goethe a1 exam and it is style 2 there are two tiles tile ions and tile zwei tile ions i already explained you now we are doing the tile zwei okay we can see here first the options we feel we feel a zimmer how many rooms v grows how big price means price wo means where un contact see here v grows again we see here grows okay this is just a small uh, example i am telling you like this this adjectives and whatever the vocabulary which i am telling you like this it comes in your lesen part huron part and schreiben part right now only i told you that this this little bit adjectives are very important now now only we see the example of this if you don't know this adjective then you will not we will learn that what they are telling here we go means how big okay so if you want to give exam go with the exam and if you don't have that much time whatever i am telling you this important important things at least please note down all these things and you will clear the exam so kefa loha strasse ne he uban near the uban central un ruhish okay in the center and kaam drei zimmer wohnung im fiersten stock im fourth floor okay this is circa short form is ca means approximately okay un neunzig meter square wohn zimmer und küche mit balkon okay living room and kitchen with balcony okay bar udar wese ab now from eins juni frei now from first of june it is free Maite, Maite means rent. Eight hundred fifty euro inclusive. House fair valuation means house management. And the number is given. Okay. So we will see here. we feel zimmer how many rooms are there you can see here dry zimmer wohn so you just need to write here dry in your exam also we feel zimmer dry because it is schreiben so we are writing here v grows how big again here okay you can write circa also approximately or this this is op optional that's why i'm writing in bracket and 90 meter square price again here 800 fifish euro and if you want to make symbol like this that is also correct okay 
the main focus of the examiner is on these things now wo where again they wrote here central okay now see as i told you that fourth fifth this type of question again for this we need you need to see at top this answer is here so that's why i told you that fourth and fifth this optional are little bit tricky in your exam here it is a little bit quite on, uh, easy only for example here contact so contact number is given you just need to write here okay so i hope till here it is clear this is your tile swipe so in the next lecture we will do our grammar part this one okay which i told you how we can check for these things okay it's all upon related to the prepositions i hope till here it is clear we discuss many things here about the goit here tiles why and the listen part and also some vocabularies okay now in the next lecture we are going to do the uh, grammar part which we also discuss in our course book so that's all for today